Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here, and today's video is going to be directed more towards uh, those of you working in the construction industry, so construction professionals. And uh, I'm going to go over how to create a construction layout file in MicroSurvey CAD um, once you are given a file from an engineer or an architect, designer, and they provide this to you, how to extract the information um, out of that drawing that is specific to what you are doing. So um, someone who this video might be useful for would be uh, perhaps you work for a concrete company and you're laying out curb, or maybe you work for an excavation company and you need to know um, the extents of your um, excavation for your build or you need to know the where the pipe locations are. So if, uh, if that's something that you do in your day to day, then um, check out this video. Uh, we do offer a free course that goes deeper into the subject matter um, on our training platform online. Uh, that's at learn.microsurvey.com and it's under the course that is called uh, Microsurvey CAD for Construction Professionals. So let's get going into the material. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, uh, the task at hand is going to be to extract the grid line data and uh, that's what I'll have to go out in the field and survey. Okay, so I'm just going to open my drawing here and you can see like, if I'm just going to set these grid lines out um, I'm not going to need to know the location of the furniture in these offices or where all the rooms are going to be. Like that is not useful information um, for what I need. So the first thing I want to do is show you guys the point prep workspace. So I'm already in it, but this isn't what MicroSurvey CAD typically looks like. So this workspace is a specialized configuration that's based off of a software package called point prep that MicroSurvey used to offer. Um, and we still offer the, uh, the workspace for those users to be able to use. And what that does is it just provides the most useful tools for construction professionals. And it just removes um, the routines such as COGO, lot closure that are more um, oriented towards a land surveyor that someone who's working in construction is never going to use. So just so you guys can see, this is the default workspace. Okay, so this is what MicroSurvey CAD workspace typically looks like. You can see with the ribbons and the menus here that there is um, quite a few different tools available. If you go down and click on this blue cog or this blue gear down here on the right hand corner, I'm gonna choose point prep. And that brings us back to um, these tools that are going to be useful for me as a construction surveyor. Okay, so the file that I would have gotten is a DWG file. This would be the industry standard CAD file. So the first tool I wanna to show you guys is a utility called the Drawing Cleanup Wizard. So up here on the ribbon, you wanna to go to this icon that says Drawing Cleanup Wizard. And this dialogue's going to appear. Okay, so when you're working with a CAD drawing, sometimes there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that could be making your file really large and cumbersome to work with. So this drawing cleanup wizard, it's a good utility to just kind of put the drawing through as soon as you open it up and it's gonna go through, it's gonna delete any zero length line work. It's going to um, delete any unused layers, um, delete any hatches. You can't really lay out hatches. So yeah, tons of items here that this utility is going to look for and purge from your drawing um, just to the first step in cleaning it up. So I'm going to choose okay. Okay, so once the utility has finished running, the results will be shown here on screen and you have the option to copy these to a clipboard and save it if you want to be able to reference it. Um, and it'll go through and give you a report on all of the different um, items that were purged from your drawing. I'm going to select OK. OK, so the next thing I want to show you guys is um, exploding blocks. So when I go to click on something in this drawing, so let me just click on my grid lines here. 
you could see that all of these grid lines are all on one block. So if I was just to put that into my data collector and go out into the field, I wouldn't be able to stake it out because it's not, it hasn't been um, turned into line work yet. To be able to actually have something to stake out, you need to create line work. So you need to go through and explode all of these block reference items. You just click on the block reference item then the command for explode is just X, enter. Now when I click on each of these grid lines, they're not going to be coming in as one block reference, they're going to be individual lines. So when I click on it, you can see this CAD line computation comes up. That's just a microsurvey CAD feature that shows all of the important information about all of the different drawing elements and um, how you turn that off is just this little button up here called toggle grips. When you turn that on, it gets rid of that uh, line information that pops up and it acts more like a standard CAD program where you click on the line and you're able to have your grips on, um, on either end. So now you can see that each of these uh, grid lines are now all individual lines. Okay, so in regards to layers in a drawing, you can freeze or thaw layers, and the command to do that would be L-A-Y-F-R-Z for layer freeze. And this means I can go in and say if I, I'm like, okay, I don't want to see the desk, I don't want to see the furniture. You can go in and kind of pick and choose to freeze the information that you don't want to see. Um, but what might be more useful in this specific situation is we know all that we need is the grid lines. So if we just select the grid lines and use the command lay iso for isolate layer, hit enter, and there we go. All of the information that we don't need has been cleared out. Okay, so I have my line work, but I also want to put some points into my drawing to make it easier to stake out the, uh, the intersection of these grid lines. So, a microsurvey has a really cool um, wizard here that instead of going and having to manually place a point at each intersection, I can use the add points to CAD intersection utility. Um, so here, I'm gonna say yes, I would like you to store the endpoints and I want the point numbering to start at 1000. The description is going to be grid. Um, they're going to name the grid lines and for the elevation, I'm just going to leave it as the computed elevation. I'm gonna choose okay. It's going to ask me the name of the first grid line in the first series. It asks if the name of the first line in the series is A, which I'm going to say enter for yes. And then it asks me to choose that grid line. So I'm gonna choose A. Then it's going to ask if the next one is named B. And I'm going to say yes. And then it asks me to choose B. And then so on and so forth. Is the next one C? It is, and I'm going to choose C. And is the next one D? Again, yes, and I'm going to choose D. So I'm not going to do the entire drawing just because I wanna keep this video somewhat short. Um, so now it's going to ask the name of the first grid line in the second series and they're asking if it's one and I'm going to say yes and choose on one and they're going to ask if the next one is two. Indeed it is and I will choose it now. Is the next one three? Yes. And is the next one four? It is. Um, so uh, again, I'm not going to do all of these but let's just do the first few here for the sake of showing it in the video. And there you go. You can see here that all of these points were added to these intersections. I have my points set quite large because um, I have trouble seeing, so I set them nice and big so I can see them. Um, and then you can see here that um, it names each intersection based off of the, the grid line. So this one here is the intersection of A and two, A and three, A and four. So when you go out in the field to stake these out, you know exactly where you are at at all times. 
So now my next step is to bring my line work and bring my points into my data collectors. So to export this data, um, the best way to go about it would be to do what's called an icon export. And what that is going to do is generate a um, DXF, which will have your line work and an ASCII or a CSV file that will have your points in it. So I'm gonna choose that project name. I'm going to rename this to one, four, 10. I'm going to say grid lines, save to, I'm going to save this to my desktop under materials, select folder, entire drawing. Okay. So if I leave this checked, it means that all of those layers that we froze that are not visible right now, um, they're still going to come in. So we don't want all of that stuff to come in. So if we unselect entire drawing and hit okay, it's going to ask us uh, to select the entities. So I'm just going to window to select everything, hit enter. So it says that it was written to file. So I just wanna open that up, go to desktop under materials, so I'm looking for here, I have grid lines DXF and grid lines text. So if I open up that text file, we can see here I've got all of the coordinates of my points and everything in there. So the next step is to bring it over to my tablet so I can open this up into my Field Genius for Android. Okay, so I've imported my DXF line work and all of my points into my data collector and I'm ready to hit the construction site and do some construction layout. Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Until next time, happy staking.